Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So today I'm in my car because I'm just about to go and get my conch pierced. I said in my last video when I got my belly button pierced that I really wanted to get this done and I finally am. I am really nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting this bit here pierced um, and it's quite a fat bit of skin, like cartilage. So I'm kind of terrified that it's gonna hurt. But Katie does numb it, so it should be okay. Also, I've just eaten chocolate, so I feel like my mouth is like sticking together. But yeah, I'm really nervous that people are gonna see me talking to a camera. So I'm like looking around like, are people watching me? But yeah, I'm really nervous. I'm really excited. I shouldn't be nervous because I've had so many piercings now. Like you would have thought I'd be used to it by now, but I'm really not. So I'm gonna film the experience because I said in my last video that I'd film my belly button piercing and then didn't. And I've spoken to Katie and she said it's fine for me to film my ear, which, which I feel a bit more comfortable about. So I guess I'm just gonna go in and get my ear pierced. So I'll see you in the piercing studio. <laughs> We just numb it a hell of a lot and then it'll yeah. be fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that done? It is. Okay, yeah, no, that was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We're all good. <laughs> the rook change was way more painful. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, I'll have a new piss in any day over a change. <laughs> I know. I honestly think changes are worse. Yeah. Way more, way more painful. Hi guys, so I'm now home. I'm looking and feeling a little bit dishevelled. Is that the right word? I think so. Um, so I obviously had it pierced. I didn't feel a thing. You'll see in the clip like I literally said to her like, is that done? Because I didn't feel it. The only bit I did feel was the numbing spray, obviously. I also had my rook bar changed as well before I had my conch pierced. And that was so much more painful than the piercing. I didn't even feel the conch, whereas that rook bar, like my ear was bleeding. She said that I have quite a deep set rook. So she was really struggling to get a bar through it. And I was just going to go for like a normal bar, like what I had it pierced with. But I then just decided to go for the hoop because it took her about four or five attempts to try and get the rook bar through. And because my rook is so far in my ear, she just couldn't do it basically. And I've had the same problem with another piercer, but they hurt me so much more than what she did. Like, it wasn't her fault at all that my rook is just an awkward little shit. Um, so I ended up getting the hoop put through it and it's so beautiful. I actually love it and I'm so happy. Like, that pain from that rook piercing was so worth it. That has been probably one of the worst piercings for me in the fact that like when I first got it pierced the ball fell off it and I had to go back to another piercer, not to Katie, and he hurt me a lot. Obviously today Katie really struggled to get the bar in, um, so I, yeah, I went for the hoop and I'm freaking obsessed with it. I'm so glad I did and like that pain was just totally worth it. But the conch piercing, she obviously numbed it as you would have seen and I didn't feel a thing. I, like as soon as she put the needle through I said to her, is it done? Because I was like, surely not. Like, the amount of pain that that rook change has just caused me. And now I can't even feel the conch. And then for, like, the next half an hour after, all I could feel was the pain from my rook. Which doesn't make sense when I've just had a fresh piercing through my conch. I mean, I bloody love Katie. I cannot fault her at all. She is amazing and I will always go to her. And I said to her before I left, I'll probably be back in, like, a few months' time to start on this ear. Because now this ear is looking very plain. So this is now my fourth piercing with Katie. I had my first two done at Claire's, like, my normal earlobes. And don't go there. I had my helix done at somewhere else and they didn't numb it and I couldn't deal with the pain. I'd like to think I have a high pain threshold, but that was quite sore when he did it. Then my tragus I did with Katie, my rook I did with Katie, my belly button I did with Katie, and now my conch. So 100% recommend her. I will leave her pages down below because I can't fault her at all. She's so lovely and she puts you at ease literally straight away and it's such a bonus that she numbs because I would not have this many piercings if she didn't. But yeah, I'm literally obsessed and once this conch is healed, I'm gonna get a hoop put through it so it kind of like goes from here all the way around and it looks like it's kind of like hugging your ear. So yeah, I'm literally so happy and I want more piercings but I'm like running out of room. It's kind of a struggle so I'm gonna have to go onto this ear soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do remember to give it a huge thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.